hey guys welcome to the cord mat uh, if you are new to the channel please do subscribe we solve a lot of competitive problems today's problem is a uh, very good binary search tree so what problem says given a binary uh, tree determine if it is a valid binary search tree or not so assume a BST is a defined as follows so what how how to determine whether given a binary tree or given tree is a uh, BST or not so it has this two properties the left subtree of node contains only uh, nodes with keys less than the nodes key uh, and the second uh, condition is the right subtree of the node contains only nodes that with the keys greater than the nodes key what third point says both the left and right subtree must also be binary search trees so let's understand with the uh, with the example what first point says is all the nodes on the left hand side should be having a less value as compared to what we have at the current node so all the all the nodes on the left hand side should be minimum with respect to the current node and on the right subtree of the nodes contains an only nodes with the keys greater than the your current node so all the nodes on the right hand side should be higher as compared to what we have at the current node in this property first and second what third point says is the property first and second should uh, uh, fulfill at each node so you are at when you are at here it should fulfill for this uh, left subtree and when you are at here it fulfill it should fulfill on a right, right on a right hand side also okay so it needs to be fulfilled at here as well as here also if there are other nodes at the uh, at the below level okay now let's understand this with the more example so uh, we have two example so first one uh, is what uh, uh, BST by bin uh, given a binary tree is a, it is satisfying the uh, binary search tree property okay so if you see it each level if you are at a root level a, the first property says the all the nodes on a right hand side should be greater and left hand side should be having a less value so if you are at a 4 so maximum value on this side is a 3 which is a again less than the what we have a current node and the minimum value on the right hand side is what we have 5 but again that is also greater to the what current node we have and at the same if you go to the next node 3 there also left hand side it is a less value as compared to what the current node same goes on a right hand side same if you see here the 7 your left hand side 3 having less value as compared to uh, the current node and same goes for the right hand side so so we can say that this tree is satisfying the uh, BST property okay now if you go to the second example here we have as a root element as a 5 and on the left hand side we have 1 so this satisfies the first property there we are good on let's see on the right hand side so if you see here uh, minimum is a 3 out of it which is less than the uh, your uh, current root node so it is not satisfying on the right hand side it needs to be uh, higher as compared to the current node so it is not satisfying BST so for this we need to return a result as false for this we will return a return as true okay right now let's understand a solution approach okay uh, to solve this problem uh, at each node to take a decision whether it will uh, satisfy a BST property or not what value we are interested is we want to know what is a maximum value we are getting from the left hand side so let's say we will take example if you are at here and you we want to take a decision from this node okay whether it will satisfy the BST property or not so what we want is we want to know what is a maximum value or maximum value node on the left hand side okay so let's say we have some value max left okay and the same way we want to understand we want to know what is the minimum value from the right hand side mean of right okay now to whether it is a this will satisfy the property or not so it needs to be uh, 
this value 4 needs to be greater than your max left okay should be less than or equal to your current okay and your mean left mean right okay needs to be greater than your current if this is true then we can say that this node will satisfy or it, it is satisfying a BST property okay now the same approach we need to apply at each node when you are at here we also would like to know what is a max maximum value of the node on the right hand side of the subtree and maximum minimum right minimum value of a node from the right hand side of the and then we can understand whether the, this is satisfying this logic or not okay if it's true we will return a true from here to the upper node okay so it each node what we will do here when we are at here let's say 3 whether it this node is satisfying the property or not if it is satisfying it will return a true okay as well as we also will return what is the max value as well as mean value from the subtree to understand what is to understand or to calculate a, uh, whether it this node will satisfy or not at the same time we also satisfy we also return a value from this right subtree and we will return mean and max of that subtree okay so when you are at here this two data will useful to calculate whether this will this node will satisfy or it is going to be satisfy the BST property or not okay so based on that again we will uh, again this will calculate whether it is satisfying or not it will return value true or false and at the same time it will also return a mean and max from there same goes on the right hand side also and it will return a true or false at each node with mean and max okay so that way each node we can calculate this data and we can accumulate whether whole whole tree is going to be satisfy the BST property or not so now let's write down a code for this so we'll return result of recursive function return is valid BST will pass first root node and at each node also we would like to pass mean and max value so first we'll pass mean as long dot mean value dot mean value and for max we would like to pass long dot max value okay so this is the uh, function we'll do in an iterative way okay now let's write down first function signature boolean is valid bst okay this will take uh, your root node as an input and then long mean well and long max well okay now let's first write down a base conditions so in which case we would like to return true and which case we would like to return a false so if your root node is equal to null return a true because in that case it's a correct BST now in the false if your minimum value or if your minimum from the current in the left hand side if it is a greater than your greater than or equal to the root in that case we would like to return a false and same way your maximum value from the uh, subtree right hand side let's say in the right hand side if it is less than or equal to your root dot value in that case we also we would like to return a false okay so let's say your mean well is greater than or equal to root dot well or your max well is less than or equal to root dot well in that case we would like to return a true false yeah sorry okay now for rest of the things we would like to do these two things at the each node so we'll call same function for each node 
is valid BST. First, we will call for left left side of the root node. We'll pass the root node, and then uh, when you are calling your left hand side node, our mean is going to be same. It, we will not having any change in that. But your max value will change because on a left when we are calling the left hand side, the maximum value is going to be always max is going to be always um, root dot well and same goes for the right hand side so let's say e is valid bst okay now root dot right uh, here uh, minimum value is going to be because uh, on the right hand side always minimum value is going to be your root dot value we may not have any minimum uh, uh, other than the root dot value and maximum we will keep it as is whatever the maximum we have passed from the uh, above call okay so that's it in the code now let's compile it okay so for 213 where the expected was true now output is also true now let's submit it okay it got submitted here time complexity of this problem as we are just traversing the each node so time complexity is going to be off n and space complexity as we are not utilizing extra space so it is going to be a constant so that's it in this video hope you like it uh, please add comments if you have a different approach or you are looking for a solution for a different problem thank you guys